Have the offense look just uh, running 65 live plays a good chance to get out there and see something? You know, I thought we did some good things. I think the biggest thing for us this spring is we've had a lot of retention. You know, on paper, uh, you know, we really got 11 starters back from last year because, you know, Will Shaw started really the last three or four games. So we've got a lot of guys that have played football. Um, and we know what some of our older guys like Kurt Hess and Jermaine Cook can do. We're, we're looking for those backups to step up. And pace of running back. So we're making some strides. We've got a lot in so far in five days, and hopefully we can see that improve. Coach, have you seen a jump just from some of these guys that are trying to fill in for you know holes on the offensive line, especially because you got uh, you know you got to get some guys ready because you never know what can happen. Yeah, you know we've been uh, you know I said it last year we've been very fortunate the last two years and uh, that we've had guys stay healthy. You know we've had a lot of injuries, but they've been on defense. We've been very fortunate on offense uh, to keep the, the starters out there for most of the year. Um, and we've seen some really good improvement by some backup offense. You know, sometimes it's hard. So you've been in this program for two or three years. Sometimes the O-line is the last one to develop. And I think we're seeing some guys that have been around a couple years now that are starting to step up and, and are, you know, really right now starting. You know, Andrew Radakovich, our left tackle, has been out. So we've had a young guy in there starting. And uh, Lamar May, one of our starters from last year, now. So we've had some guys that really would be backups that are getting some good starting time right now. Talk about uh, Pat and just his, uh, you know, his drive to try to get that backup spot. It's, I mean, it's everything's open, but he's a guy that, uh, you know, that, that wants that position back. Yeah, you know, it, it's 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 a hard position to be in because I think you always feel like you're a backup. And I, I try to stress to him that you know you're one play away from being a starter, and he's got to prepare like he's a starter. You know, and I told him that last season, even though when he was battling with Mark Kineski with the second job, um, they need to prepare as if they're the starter because, you know, one play in a ball game, you know, you could have a guy out for the year, and, and if those guys are not ready and they haven't uh, worked in the classroom to, to be a starter, then they're not going to be ready. So I think he's taken a step up. Obviously, he's been in the program for two years now. He really has a good grasp of what we're trying to do. He's been Well, he's jumped. I think the biggest thing is he's got a lot of physical talent. He's got a strong arm. I'm not sure he didn't have the strongest arm out of all of them. The biggest thing is, though, is timing and, and knowing who to go to in certain situations, seeing the blitz and the audibles. I think the biggest thing for him has been, I think he has a good grasp of what we're trying to do, and he feels comfortable with that. Now he can really look at the defense and see what they're trying to do down in and down out. You know, with Coach Tracy coming in, our defense is in five days is shown us about everything you could possibly see. And so I think when it finally slows down for, for the guys on offense where they know what they're doing, then they can really concentrate on defense doing. And I think they feel more comfortable with, uh, with everything we're doing at that point. Uh, but he's made great strides, and he's got to continue to improve. I threw him in there a lot with the ones today to try to get him those reps because he needs to get the reps with the first line and the first receivers. I think that'll help him improve. What does he have to do to show you and, and Wolf that uh, that he can be the number two guy and that he's that there, there's no question that he's that guy? Well, I think for any backup, you just got to feel comfortable with them going in the game. You know, and I tell our guys all the time offensively, uh, just because you're a number two on paper, if we don't feel comfortable with you, you know, somebody goes down, we're going to move who we feel comfortable in there. So, you know, we just got to get. Uh, I've got to feel good with when he's in the ball game, and I do right now, and he'll continue to improve, but. Um, I think just, again, we're going to try to, you know, that's a position where Kurt Hess has played a lot of football. I'm going to try to get uh, Pat, not only Pat, but Dante Nania as many reps as we can. And not only with the twos and the threes, but with the ones. So that they feel, you know, because sometimes when you get with the 1-0 line, you, you get a little bit better blocking, which is, you know, you know you're going to get that. You get the number one receiver, so you're going to be a little better out there. And you want to see what they do against the one defense, too. So that's going to help feel this offense just getting better and, and becoming to the point where you can say, wow, this could be a special year again for the offense, even better than this. You know, I think so. You know, I, I think that sometimes, uh, you know, when you have a lot of success, sometimes that's that's a bad thing because you just feel like you're going to line up and things are going to happen. You know, we got to realize, and I told them over there, we're not going to score every series. You know, I hate to admit that, but we're not going to score every series. Uh, as long as we don't turn over, turn the ball, we can punt at times. Um, but I think we've got enough in our playbook and we've got enough talent around us that if we execute, we got a chance to be pretty good. And, uh, you know, we're going to add uh, right now. It's pretty much what we're going to have in the fall. You know, we might have a couple guys here and there that give us some depth. But, you know, with, you know, with 11 starters back on paper from where we ended last year, you know, you've got a lot of, you've got a good starting point.
we just got to find some guys to plug in. I think depth would be a key. And, and if we get some guys hurt, it's how fast those other guys step up. Uh, it's, it's, it's how we're going to be this year. Can you talk about Dante uh, pushing Pat and where you see him at uh, compared to? Well, he's got a lot to learn, and it's just he is first year quarterback. You know, he, you know, you go through fall camp and you you start to learn the offense, and then you're on scout team, and you really forget everything that we taught him for about three weeks. So he's relearning everything, and. Uh, his biggest thing is, again, is he's, he's going back and talked about Pat trying to learn defense. You know, Dante's trying to learn our offense against the defense at the same point. And when you got 11 guys that uh, could come from anywhere, it's, it's a lot to learn. And he's just got to get better. I think the thing, thing with him is his confidence. Uh, when he knows what he's doing, he's, he's a pretty good quarterback. Uh, when he gets a little confused, he's a little bit hesitant. And that slows anybody down. So I think he's just got to get confident in what we're doing. He'll play faster. And he can run, so if he doesn't. Yeah, I mean he's athletic. That's a good thing with uh, with all three of them. I think they're athletic. You know, we run Kurt enough that he hurts teams. Uh, and Pat and Dante probably run a little bit better than Kurt does. So they give us some things in the running game where you know people are going to have to count for that.